Hi guys, welcome to my solo Titan run of this week's Prestige Nightfall. I'm going to be doing it on Arc Burn, uh, so Arc Singe. So we've got obviously Arc Singe, Heavyweight, and Momentum on. I'm using Striker, top three of the subclass to get the double pulse grenades. We're using Darcy, Arc Mananen, and we're using Better Devils, all masterworked. And Lime Rampant Boots for the obviously the extended jump. So yeah, th this week is the DFA week. So this is a guide on how to beat it solo. It's not a speed run. It's a good time, nine minutes, just over nine minutes. Uh, I, I'm very impressed with it, with, with the way the Darcy performed, especially with the new strategy that I've kind of kind of worked out for snipers. And there is a reason I've got this new strategy for snipers. So I'll be putting this guide up, and this this will help you beat this 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 snipefall, no problem at all. But for you guys, and the last time I put a guide up, I did get. Just a little bit of heat because obviously people were doing uh, Ikelos shotgun one phases on the boss and all this type of stuff. So, for anybody that this week got the Exotic Sniper, anybody that got the Whisper of the Worm, otherwise known as, I, I can't call it the Spindle because it's more like the Black Hammer with its, you know, OG White Nail perk with its original White Nail perk. I've done a one phase on this boss using that sniper. So I'll put I'm gonna put this guide up. This is a guide for people that never had the worm, that never got it this weekend. And then I'm gonna put up two smaller videos. One will be a one phase using the worm, and the other will be a one phase using the Ikelos shotgun. Just so that the people that really want to grind this out, that have those weapons, are confident enough to do it, they've got that way as well. I'll obviously put up the hunter. And I'll put up the the Warlock solos as well. Uh, and I'm actually going to do... A, I'm just going to put it up because I want it up. I beat the Worm... I beat the the Whisper of the Worm quest on Saturday. And then I managed to get two two goes at the solo. Two or three goes. And to be fair, I got to the boss with about on the Heroic with about five and a half minutes. But I hadn't refined my run. It was just bare bones run. Uh, I think I'll be able to do it this weekend, but then I, I've said in my videos quite a few times that, especially over the last couple of weeks, that I've had stuff going wrong with my partner got taken in, my fiance got taken into hospital, which has been part of the problems of me actually getting videos out. She's been really unwell because she's pregnant with her child, so she was in hospital this weekend, so I never actually got a chance to go and really get solo work done. Not that that was a that was the last thing I was thinking of this weekend, obviously. So this week we'll definitely get that done. So we've got I recorded the run that we done on Saturday and it's it's not a great run. We got it done. It's a pretty it's a pretty epic end to the run, right enough. It's, it's quite it's quite kind of you know Hollywood moment from me at the end with a shotgun. So I'll put that up with a bit of commentary about the strike and stuff like that, so that you guys can maybe have a look. Anybody that didn't do it. And I'll, I'll speak a little bit about how we've done that. So that those are the videos we're getting up this week. So the reason that I've spoke about that right now is because the, the, there is no, no real strategy for the Infinite Forest. You know, the Infinite Forest is pros possibly the most annoying part of any strike I've done in Destiny or Destiny 2. So, you know, every time it's one of these strikes, I... Uh, I don't know what to say when it comes to the Infinite Forest because it changes all the time. The only thing I can add to anything I've said before is I've noticed that the game, the Infinite Forest seems to change dependent on what burn you've got on. You know, uh, I had, I've had i had a bit of arc this time. I had it on solo when i done the, the run with the, the worm and I was just, it was just solar heavy. And I did notice the, the, the change, so maybe that does change. It definitely seemed to change when I was doing it. So the DFA drops from this. I will, I am going to get the DFA. I haven't had it yet. But now that I've got this idea of how to get it, and the idea is do a high score run. Once you get the high score run, it really improves your chances. Even if you don't do one that week, as long as you beat the high score on that strike, the chances for you to drop that weapon, ghost, spiral, ship, whatever it might be, increases dramatically i've had the strike specific loot 
for the last three weeks. So I had the Bray Tech, I had the Ghost last week, and what was the one before that? I can't remember what was before that. What have I had? Sparrow. I had the Sparrow, the Tilt Fuse. I've had the Tilt Fuse, the Bray Tech Osprey Rocket Launcher, and the Trichromatica Ghost Shell. So, and I I done the high score run for the last couple of weeks just to test it, and it definitely works. And I dropped quite a few catalysts. All right, so so back to the run. This is where we can start talking about the run. So up to this point, you you know, and even after this point, we're not really gonna we're gonna kill two enemies till we get to the boss, and that's very some you know it's a very straightforward run. You can skip this whole part. You're gonna kill these two scions here, and then we're gonna ride all the way to the boss. And then because we're on the Titan, and obviously the line rampants help you with with the jumping in the infinite forest. But this is where I could probably get past the Infinite Forest without having without having the line rampants on. It's for this section at the boss. We're going to skip all these ads just outside the boss room. Now, before we get there, I will say to you, it's a risky, it is quite risky to do it. You just have to utilize your shoulder charge. And as you'll see, even that can land you in trouble because I tried to shoulder charge when I seen I was getting... As I was being, the snipers were training their sights on me, so I, I, I showed a charge to, you know, prop my, prop my momentum a bit, you know, keep it going, and I actually locked on to one of the incendiaries, so that wasn't great. But I still managed to get through it. But if you get past a certain point of the straight of, of this part, if you die, it will still spawn you at the boss. So jump across here, there's a little platform, land on the platform, jump straight up to back up onto ground level. Then you're going to jump all the way around here. Shoulder charge to make it onto there. And then we're going to jump around this platform. And you've missed all the ads. And as long as you keep shoulder charging, as you can see, I jumped. Thought I'd be safe and my shoulder charge targeted him all the way down there. Uh, as long as you keep jumping. And it, as long as you keep jumping and shoulder charging, you'll be fine. And there we go. So we've made it here pretty quickly. So the idea of this 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 actual run is we're not going to go on any of the platforms we normally go on. We're, we're going to go on that platform there, the raised one on the right. So we'll take these ads out, and what we're going to do is put a, a rally barricade up, and then we're going to put a couple of grenades on, and then we're just going to go at them. Uh, and what we've got was super, and we're going to use our super to clear the ads out uh, once once we've took once we've done all the damage we can. So we're up here, right to the back. If you go right to the back of this platform, normally, especially with the worm, he will stand there. He'll try and shoot you, and then he'll just stand there. But he ran away when I was using the Darcy. So as you can see, it's very simple. Just keep putting it on him. I wasn't expecting him to move, but he just moved out the way. And I think the reason he moved out the way is because I was maybe too far behind that block. So he's gone. We've done good damage. Super. It's, 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 it's really kind of simple. And because I still had tons of super, I just decided to kill everything in the room. See what else I could drop. So when we go in here, the plan is we're going to try and get some headshots on them. And then we're not going to bother with any other ads. We're going to go at the Darcy. We're, we're going to use the Darcy to go straight for straight for the Minotaur. Jump up here to prop momentum. We're going to look for this Minotaur. And you, as you can see, he's gone. I don't have to worry about anything else. I am going to shoulder charge one of the Scions just to see if it will help me get a grenade. So I turn back around, proc my shoulder charge. And there we go. When we go into this final room, this is, all those other kind of, they were good snipes, pretty good shot. This is how not to use the Darcy. I think I whiffed three snipe shots before I finally got them. So I tried to see, I just wanted to see at what point he becomes available to shoot. And you kind of have to be up and in the room. So I did get him a couple. I thought he was going to push, so I just dropped a grenade. Now that I'm down here, he will go up top and drop down. And that's his, his that's a mistake, because he's dead. Very simple run. Very simple run. Anybody who can use, anybody who can shoot straight can do this. Nine, nine, 9 minutes, 12 seconds or something like that. It's a pretty sharp run. It's not a speed run, but it is a good way to farm the DFA. It is a good way. And what I am, as I've already said, guys, I will put those videos up tonight. The solo one phase 
of the boss using the Ikeller shotgun and using the worm. I hope you've enjoyed the video guys. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. It really helps massively. Thank you very much for your support. Look out for the worm video uh, and tell me what you think about it. Thank you very much for your view and I will see you guys in the next video.